All right, well, we uh, kind of want to give you an update on why you're hearing the sirens out there. I've got uh, Bill Britton on the phone, and Bill, kind of explain to me what uh, you just said uh, with the, the sirens going off. Uh, I was just notified by the Police and Fire Communication Center that a train store spotter had saw some uh, possibility of some tornadoes coming down and going up somewhere down along 59 Highway along the the bridge near Atchison, and the and their policy is that if a train store spotter sees something, that they set the our sirens off. Okay, so are they still there watching that? Is that what's going on? I don't know that I know that, but I am headed in that direction, and so I uh, may know something about it in a few minutes. Okay, so in case everybody's just kind of joining us, tell me again what why uh, the sirens are starting to sound here. A uh, train storm spotter called the comm center and said that that uh, he observed some tornadoes that came down and went back up the air. And uh, the protocol for, you know, we always want to be on the safe side. And their protocol is if a train storm spotter sees one, they set the alarms off. Okay. All right. So there you go. So the alarms are going off and they go off here in St. Joseph as well because it's in Buchanan County. So that's why that happens. So it's not for St. Joseph, it's down there more towards Atchison, but that's the whole protocol that if it's in the county, then it's gonna go off here in the sirens. So the sirens will go off here in St. Joseph. Okay, Bill, thank you very much. Uh, hey, you appreciate that, giving us the uh, latest on that. So those sirens are gonna continue to go off for a while. Uh, I'm going to be, uh, of course, keeping a very close watch on that. Bill, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You mentioned I'll be headed down that way, so I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Bye. Okay. Okay. What, what did uh, Dan say? Just go ahead. Okay. Okay. We'll keep going. Uh, so, um, again, those sirens going off, uh, as you heard Bill say, there was a train spotter that saw what looked to be tornadoes coming out of that uh, cloud there down uh, along 59 Highway. And uh, whenever that does happen, that uh, gets reported to the communication center here in St. Joseph, and they sound the sirens for that. Uh, again, that was a report of uh, a few funnel clouds that were uh, in that area. I'm looking at the, the chat from the St. Joseph, uh, or actually the National Weather Service chat, and uh, one of the meteorologists down there says he doesn't see any rotation in that cluster of storms. Uh, could be some turbulent motion from a shelf cloud, uh, but uh, he doesn't see anything on that. But again, whenever a train spotter does see something like that, they automatically turn those sirens on. So again, that's why we had that. We're gonna be staying right here. Uh, Bill Britton's heading down that way to kind of check out what's happening with those storms and of course we're going to keep you updated so right now we'll go back to regular programming.